Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to worship this morning on this uh, day of Pentecost. This is the day the Lord has made, and we can rejoice and be glad. We have a, a, a million things to be thankful for this morning. All these drops of rain. So, uh, so anyway, uh, thank you for coming today, and thank you for wearing red. Uh, you see all the red flowers and geraniums up here, and also also the pretty red flowers on the congregation too. So thank you for helping decorate our church today uh, with that. Uh, following our worship, we have uh, a fellowship time, so please uh, join us for that. Uh, this was the last Sunday that we're going to have uh, two services, okay? We have a second service after after this one at 10.30, but now starting next weekend, we'll just have one at 9 o'clock, okay? So if you like to sleep in until about 9.30, you'll, you'll make it to the coffee hour, but you won't have the worship. So... Uh, and we'll do that through the summertime, okay? So this is the uh, ne next Sunday. That if you come at 9, it's the same same time there. But if you if you occasionally come at 10, you'll, you'll be, come at the tail end of the coffee. So. All right. Uh, last Sunday, we had our a special a congregational meeting. And Kurt Dreyer is our is secretary of our council. And he's going to give a, a report on that. The resolution that we voted on last Sunday uh, to begin disaffiliation from the ELCA and joining the NALC passed by vote of 66 for, 29 against. So that's the long and the short of it. Okay, thank you, Kurt. Uh, we'll continue now with our worship, so please stand as we sing together our invocation. <laughs> Come into the light. 
the, re the revealing and healing light of God, God of grace and glory. You have brought us through the night of sin into the light of Jesus' resurrection. Yet our lives are still shadowed by sin. Make us alive in Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father. Make us new as you make all things new. Rescue us from evil and the gloom of sin. Renew us in grace and restore us to living in your holiness. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Rejoice around our Heavenly Father's throne. The light of the risen Christ puts to flight all evil deeds, washes away sin, restores the fallen, casts out fear, brings peace, and humbles earthly pride. Jesus Christ loves you and has freed you from your sins by his blood. To those who believe in Jesus Christ, he gives them the power to become children of God and bestows on them the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our hymn of mercy. Join me in praying together the prayer of the day. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, as you sent upon the disciples the promised gift of the Holy Spirit, look upon your church and open our hearts to the power of the Spirit. Kindle in us the fire of your love and strengthen our lives for service in your kingdom. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, God, and now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The first lesson today is found in Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 9, on page 8 in your Pew Bible. Now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as they migrated from the east, they came upon a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said one to another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone and bitumen for mortar. Then they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves. Otherwise we shall be scattered abroad on the face of the whole earth. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower which mortals had built. And the Lord said, look, they are one people and they have all one language. And this is only the beginning of what they will do. Nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language there so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they left off building the city. Therefore it was called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. 
The psalm today is on page 544. It's Psalm 104, verses 24 through 34 and 35b. And we will read responsibly. O oh Lord, how manifold, manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide. Creeping things innumerable are there. There go the ships, and there is that Levithian, which you have made for the sport of it. These all look to you. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you hide their, your face, they are dismayed. When you send forth your spirit, they are created. And you the face of the May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his earth. Who looks on the earth and it trembles. And they fall. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I am May my meditation be pleasing for him. For I rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. The second lesson today is on page 992. It's Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language? Parthenians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontius, and Asia, Phry Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In their own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others smeared and said, they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed, us, addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men will see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. I will show portents in the heavens above and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Please rise for the alleluia. <laughs>
gospel today is from John 14, beginning with verse 8. 